Hi there, thanks for watching this video on the UK's best-selling four-foot disco stand, the Gorilla GDS4. Comes complete with a lifetime warranty and what we're going to do in this video is just show you how to put it together and just tell you a bit about the features of it. So when you take it out of the box you get all your parts out and assemble them in, in order. So you've got your two M frames, your four crossbars, the uprights, you know, you get them all together out. And then to assemble it with one person it's very, very quick and easy. Um, what you have first is you have your two end frames that make up the stand um, and what you want to do is when this is assembled there's some box sections here where the lighting bar goes through just make sure that they're on the outside of um, you know when you're assembling it together what you then have is you have four of these pieces which are your crossbars so these are the four foot crossbars that go in so what I recommend is you put one in the slot in the box section there and then put it down to the floor and then what you can do is get you get another one it goes in there because as you can see, there is actually, there is, well you'll see there's actually four box sections to make it up. Do the top ones first, and then get your next end frame with the box section for the lighting bar, which is bang in the middle, keep that to the outside, and then gently lift that piece up, put these sections in, just, they just slot it down into their, into their box section places, which is like that. And then you have your main section now, You've got two more to going underneath because you can actually, as you can see, it's a little bit unsturdy. Don't worry about that for now because it'll all come clear when we put the, the thumb screw tighteners in. So then you've got two more here that go there and in there. And you've got another one which goes in there and there. So that makes up your main bottom deck stand. Okay, so now we put the, the tighteners in each end, which I'll show you here. So what you have is you have 10 of these, which are little black thumb tightness screws. And what they do is where you've put these cross section bars, there's a little thread. And what you do is you put them in each end. So I'll try and do this as quickly as I can. So you've got four of those that go in, which make it nice and sturdy. In there. in there and again you do exactly the same the other side so what you do is you put your thumb tightness screws in here and here and then what that does is that makes the forefoot stand really rigid so it doesn't move around so that one goes into there and that one last one into there you'll find there's two more left over but I'll tell you where they go in a moment so they go into there and there you have your four foot table right now what you want to do is you want to get the lighting bar up so what you do is you have your four uprights there's, there's actually two lots of these and as you can see one has got a tapered in part there and the other one hasn't but it's got a little thread at the top so what you do is this section here with the tapered part at the top that slots into the, the box section which is bang in the middle of the stand at the side so that goes there all the way down to the floor um, and then the section you've got here which looks identically the end apart from one has got a thread in it that goes onto that part there so you can see that slots into there and then what you do is with the last two of the little black thumb tightness screws one goes into here just to keep it together and then what you would do is you'd keep that thumb screw bit to the outside do exactly the same on this side so the bit with the tapered end at the top section the bit with the thread goes in the bottom you put the thumb tightness screw on like that so there we have it now what you want to do is these are a little bit loose so what you also have which i'll move it around slightly to show you is on this section here you've got two larger threads on the box section itself that again is designed not only to keep this rigid but also when it's assembled you can undo these tighteners and you can actually move the whole lighting bar up and down to the desired height so what you have here is you will have six of these which are an l-shaped thicker they're not a plastic thumb tightener they're an l-shaped complete metal thread 
So what you do with those, you put them in these bigger threads here. You can't get it wrong because they're different sizes. So that, that goes into there all the way through to keep that nice and rigid and the same here. To be honest with you, you'll probably find like most people do that when it's at the bottom setting, it's actually at the, the pretty much the height you'd want it anyway. Most people don't really want it too much higher than that, but if you do, you can undo these and you can adjust the height. So the same on the other side. So you've got your stand here with your upright poles. Make sure that little thumb tightness screw is on the outside. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but it just looks neater. So we put these ones in here. And again, here. So that's the main section there. You've got your deck stand part, your four foot stand. You've got your upright poles. And all it leaves now is to assemble the lighting bar that goes across the top. So what you have here is your two lighting bar sections. Now, what you'll find on this is that one is slightly longer than the other. And the reason for that is because, again, it's got like a tapered in part there and that's so you can literally get them together and slot them in place like that then what you have complete with the stand is you have a, um, 11 of these now that's just basically a, a long bolt with a wing nut on it now they're in the, the package so that you can actually put all of these through all of these holes that are in there so you can then hang your lights off of them with your brackets. So you put this straight through the bar, straight through your lighting bracket, and then you fix your lights on. Now also, the first thing you want to do with this first is this part here which slots together. The middle one, as you'll see when it slots together, you want to put one through there. It also doubles up to hang your lights on as well, so you can have a light bang in the middle of your lighting bar. But primarily, you know, when you're assembling it, this one here is just to hold these two parts together to make your complete lighting bar for your lighting. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pre-drilled drilled holes in here. So you can potentially have up to eleven lights. Um, the maximum low capacity on this is 40 kilograms. As you know, a lot of lighting nowadays is LED. It's very lightweight, so you shouldn't have a problem. And on the actual four foot stand itself, the maximum weight on this is 50 kilos. Again, more than enough for most people's equipment. So all you do now is this part here will go up onto the top of the bar. So that goes into there. That part goes into there. And there you have it. There is one last thing to do. Uh, you'll have two more of these L-shaped metal thicker threads. And what they do is they, you'll see that there's a big thread up here where you've just put your lighting bar on. So that one goes into there. And again, the same on the other side. So all of these also come with it. You've got all of these to put your lights up. So you've got your, your threads with the wing nuts. They go into all of these here, so you can hang your lights up. And there you have it. Very, very quick. The beauty of this is it's very quick to assemble and disassemble at the end of your gig. And it just gives a professional image to your disco. There is add-on extras, um, as you'll probably see, that you can, you can actually add on to this as well. For instance, there's a four-foot shelf that Gorilla do, which will go, um, it's, it's felt covered on one side. So that's a four foot custom shelf, which can just sit on there to put your equipment on. And again, you can put another shelf below. Also, there's other great products you can add to it, like the Limelight Disco Screen, which fits really nicely around the front and you can shine some lights up behind to give it some really nice, like a disco screen effect on the front. So there it is, the GDS4, uh, the UK's best-selling four foot disco stand. If you've got any queries at all on how to assemble it again, send us an email, give us a call, our sales team, anybody will be here to, to help you to assemble it. But it is very, very easy and I hope this helps. I'm Jeremy, thank you very much.